Hi FlossTube, Lynette here at Homesteading on the Homefront. It is Saturday, March 28th, 2020. Happy 50th anniversary, Mom and Dad. We were supposed to be celebrating today with a party with family and friends. And instead, we are all stuck at home. So I figured if I could use encouragement, some of you could probably use encouragement as well which is why I am announcing the Stitch In at East Hill Farm. Now, this all came about a couple days ago when I had a divine inspiration. That's the only way I can think of it. I um, was sitting in my chair and said, hey, East Hill Farm does knitting retreats. I wonder if they'd do a cross-stitch retreat. And so I emailed them and they were ecstatic about the idea and said, we have a weekend available in November. And I looked at my calendar and it was blank and empty. And I said, let's do this thing. Hopefully life will have calmed down by then and be somewhat back to normal. So <clears throat> November 13th, 14th and 15th with an optional arrival date of November 12th, we're gonna have a big retreat in Troy, New Hampshire. Now, big retreat, not StitchCon big. <laughs> we need a minimum of 60 people in order to make this weekend work, and they can take a maximum of 90 people. So um, Frugal Yankee and Frugal Empire were around 30 to 40, so we need 20 more people to make this weekend work. Um, but we can um, almost triple our size. So let me tell you about the inn at East Hill. It is a working farm. They have many buildings. Some are cabins, some are bunkhouses. There's the main inn, which is an old farmhouse. I first stayed there in June of 2018. I had just moved back from Guam. Stephen was still on the island. And I had the opportunity to attend what I called farm camp. Um, officially, it's called Arm to Farm. And it was a program for military retirees, active duty military, and spouses who wanted to get into farming. And it was being held at the Inn at East Hill Farm. <clears throat> and so I had a lovely week there. I had just come off this stressful move across the world. Um, the girls stayed with my parents, so I had a week of blissful time in a lovely cabin um, learning about farms from many of the local farmers up there. The food at East Hill was amazing. Home-cooked, delicious. And so when I was looking at the prices online for the knitting retreat, I realized, okay, this is not frugal, right? This is not frugal Yankee. However, a lot of you know that I've been working on trying to find another venue so that we could host a larger retreat because the demand is definitely there for it in this area. Um, and nobody else wants to put it together. If somebody else wants to put together a large retreat, please do it. <laughs> you are not stepping on my toes. I'm doing it because if I don't do it, who will? Anyway, so I had, before the whole coronavirus thing, I had been working with a local place that I thought was going to work. Um... Unfortunately, they don't have any dates available until 2021. And so I was doing the math and realized that between the hotel rooms and the price we'd have to pay for the big common area, plus the cost of we were going to be required to have at least one meal there in order to, to get the lowest rate or something. Um, the out-of-pocket costs wouldn't have been all that much less than the inn at East Hill, and at East Hill we're getting six meals. We're getting dinner Friday night, 
we're getting breakfast, lunch, and dinner on Saturday, and we're getting um, breakfast and lunch on Sunday. That's six, right? One, three, six. Yes. So the price on the web page that I'm linking below includes your hotel, your you know your room. It includes the six meals. And it includes taxes, right? So um, it's not a bargain. I mean, it's not cheap. Let's put it that way. It's not cheap. It's not going to be like I can make reservations at Frugal Yankee and share my room with four other people and brown bag it. However, it is going to be lovely. The facilities are so nice. The people are so nice. Um, the farm is at the foot of Mount Monadnock, so if you are inclined, you can go on a morning walk and see the mountain. There's lots of hiking trails. You can go collect your own eggs in the morning from the chickens and bring them in to be cooked up. Um, the bread is homemade. <laughs> I could go on and on. I remember the food. So anyway... It's, it's going to be very similar to Frugal Yankee in that it's basically you come, you bring your stuff, you stitch. There's no classes. It's nothing fancy. There's not going to be any goodie bags because I ain't got time for that. Um, it's going to be a lovely time of coming together with fellow stitchers I'm going out on a limb and going to say that most of us have had all of our retreats canceled, right? The spring is retreat season and most of them ain't happening. So I'm hoping that this gives us something to look forward to. It's going to be one of the first times that we can get together um, as a large group of stitchers and come together and stitch. I will say that you will probably need to bring lighting. Bring your own lighting. Um, the room they have is lovely, but it's it's not like bright. Um, so count on bringing your own lighting. The other thing that I will say is <clears throat> many of the cabins have their own living rooms. So if you come with a group of people, you can take over a cabin and you can stitch in the living room if you want. There's no law that says you have to come stitch in the in the big room. Um, we will have access to the room 24 seven. So if you are a night owl, you can stitch away. Um, and I, I think I think that's basically it. I should have kind of made notes. I didn't. I'm just doing this off the cuff because I wanted to get this announcement out. I will put the link to the East Hill Farm page below in the notes um, so you can go there. Check out all of the... They have pictures online of the rooms and the cabins and the spaces. Check those out. Get an idea of where you want to stay. If you are <clears throat> coming without a group of people, call and make reservations. If you're coming, I'm going to use Maine because I know there's a group of maniacs that love to travel together. If you are coming from Maine and you want to be in the same building as the 18 other people that are also coming from Maine, fantastic. Just call them and tell them I want to be with so-and-so and so-and-so or whatever. Or say I'm with the Maine contingent. <laughs> um, and they will put you in your own area. I already called and made my reservation and I said put me wherever you want me. I don't care. <laughs> Just as long as I have a room. So they assigned me a room and made a note that said I would be willing to move anywhere else if they need me to. Um, there are mixtures of queen size beds and twin size beds so you can share a room without having to share a bed. Um, this is an inn that caters to, to city families and so they are very much used to having adults that want their room and kids in their own room. So some of their rooms have twin beds, some have larger beds. Like I said, some areas have common living areas. Um, look on the website, check it out, and then give them a call. I, <laughs> kind of famous for this, I guess, as far as retreats go, but I am not going to have any clue who's coming. 
So if you ask me how many people, I'm probably going to say I have no idea, <laughs> which is always my standard answer. Um, I'm thinking that I will be in communication with the people from East Hill and they might give me a heads up that, hey, we're, you know, we're not at 60 yet. We need more people to, to make this a go. Or, yes, we hit 60 and who knows? Maybe, hey, we're at 90. We're, we're full up. Um, who knows? Who knows? Um, but I'm pretty sure that we can at least get 60 people from New England to come and stitch together because it's going to be a wonderful time filled with wonderful company, new friends and old friends. Um, I will probably set up a, a freebie table, you know, so that we can share our um, stash. Um, so go through your stash, find the stuff you want to trade and, and put it out on the freebie table. Um, I'm going to say no to a smalls exchange. I know we we usually do them, but just because I'm not going to know who's coming, um, some people may not know about it. If they're, you know, if they're not from the floss tube community, if they're coming in from, you know, maybe they attended a knitting retreat at East Hill and now they're cross-stitchers, so they want to come to this one. Um, so not everyone is going to be from the floss tube community, which is completely fine. I love opportunities for making new friends. Um, so no smalls exchange this year. If it's a huge hit and it becomes an annual thing, knock on wood, then maybe we can explore it for years, years in the future. Um, I would say if you have questions, most likely East Hill are going to be the, the ones with the answers. <laughs> I am not organizing this by any means. I just threw the idea at them and they decided, yes, we'll host a retreat. Um, and it only took a couple days and we got the information on the website. And um, so now I'm sharing it with you. So um, when I called to get my room, they wanted a $50 deposit. I forgot to ask when the whole payment was due. Um... I know there's a there's a post on their website about Corona. I know that um, they are refunding um, or allowing families to. It says on the website, but if the world is not back to normal by then, um, you will not lose money. And I think that's it. So what I need you to do is help me to get the word out. Um, it would be great to share the link to East Hill, but um, please share the link to this video so that people know exactly what kind of retreat it is. I don't want anyone come expecting there to be vendors or classes or um, bright lighting. Um, yeah. So if you could just share this link, share the link to the video to anyone, gather your friends. Um, it's going to be a fantastic time. I can't say enough about the setting. Um, that's the other thing you need to know. When I was there in 2018, I, I stayed in the sugar shack or the, sh I forget what it's called, but it had a lovely porch and I would I would um, sit out every morning before going to breakfast, and I had cell phone reception on my porch. <laughs> there were a lot of my arm-to-farm classmates who did not have cell phone reception. It is in the middle of nowhere, right? There's not going to be any running to the nearest Michaels or Hobby Lobby in order to get something that you forgot. Um, it is country, beautiful country. So if you were from outside of New England and you were thinking about flying in, please do, but just know that you're not going to take an Uber from the airport to the end at East Hill Farm. Like you're going to be renting a car and you are going to be on the back roads of New England. It would be a fantastic introduction to New England if you've never been here before. Um, but yeah, there's no shuttles to the airport. There's... Mm, yeah, none of that. <laughs> Middle of nowhere, which is kind of the point. So anyway, um, 
I look forward to hearing from you. If you are planning to go, um, I think I may end up making a Facebook page later on, but not right now. I think most of the um, chitter chatter might happen on the New England Cross Stitch Meetups Facebook page. Um, so join that. Um, there are a couple questions to get in on that page just to um, avoid spammers. Um, so be sure to tell me, I forget what the question is, who's your favorite designer and where do you live? Um, and if you live outside of New England, that's fine. Um, so yeah. I'm wishing everyone happy stitching. Again, wishing my parents a very happy 50th anniversary. I love you. And until we talk again, Facebook, which will be soon, I've got two videos in the works. Um, fair winds and following seas.